During the failed eruption of the early March 2024 in the Reykjanes Peninsula, we had a storm of the earthquake which didn't result in the uh, magma erupting at the surface. We expect uh, this happen again uh, now that the magma is accumulated under the Swartzengi volcanic system for around 10 million kilometers to have a, a fissure eruption uh, from the Sundunka south of it to the Hagerfell. And uh, there is a possibility that this eruption will be different to what we have seen so far. The magma rises to the surface, but unlike the previous one, it may not actually erupt. It just flows. Like what we have seen from, for example, in the Little Koto volcano. In one of those uh, episodes of the eruption, we had a lava tube bursting and the uh, gradually lava coming out of it after a short period of the calm. This is exactly what now we are seeing, the information you are seeing from the Iceland Meteorological Office. And uh, we are predicting that the magma is reaching the level that it had in previous eruption from 8 to 13 cubic million cubic meters. And this a slow flow of the lava will actually enable us to actually build this kind of... Uh, berms or walls, defensive walls that are suggested along this uh, rift valley so of the sourcing volcanic system and actually control the flow of the lava toward the uh, harbor and the town of the Grindavik. This was a suggestion I made and uh, I think that this is something to think about it. Uh, I will show you a video which actually shows that moment of the magma returning into the uh, little Koto volcano, one of the lava tubes of it, which kind of resembles what we are expecting, the flow of the lava slowly without eruption coming to the surface. It doesn't represent the actual style, but it is something that may um, bring it close to the mind. Watch that, and I hope that you will enjoy it as much as I did when I was making it. This is the RUV cameras you are seeing, by the way.